How's it going? Hello. How's it going? How's it going? How are you? Doing good. How are you? You done? Everywhere we go, David is out of control. I mean, he's literally making a fool out of himself. How's it going? How's it going, sir? This is starting to get embarrassing. See that guy just, just like, oh, nah, you're he's like, a, like, hey, bro, what's hey, up? You're stupid. This cramp in my style. I mean, I'm afraid people are going to think I'm weird just because he's around me. This guy's got a camera there. I got one. I don't even know you. People are looking at him like he's some kind of wild animal. You guys both want to be in the picture, I'll take it for you. I'm supposed to be the wild one in this band. I am living life on the edge. Now we go. Let's go. Let's go. This is fantastic. How's it going, man? How's it going? What you got cooking up in here? Oh, just some pralines. Oh, oh pralines. Nice. Man, we're seeing magic tricks. We're seeing street musicians. We're getting pralines. This is good. This is really good. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, you guys know where I could get some espresso? I think it's starting to wear off. I need to get more espresso and fast. Hey, do you guys know where there's good espresso? You guys have coffee here? Am I the only one that appreciates espresso for the amazing drink it is? Hey, do you guys know where there's any good like espresso around here? You guys know if there's any espresso around here? Do you know where I could get some espresso around here? What's espresso? He's going up to poor innocent Mimas, asking for coffee. Sorry, ma'am, he's out of his mind right now. Oh my um, goodness. Yeah, he's a little woohoo. So let's go, Davey. Time to go. But thank you. Sorry to bother you. It's sad that people in this culture may go their entire lives without drinking coffee. Do you guys know if there's any espresso around here? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm having such a great day, but time is money. We got to get back to the studio. Hey, you guys know where I could get some espresso? When you look at the standards of the world, they say that success is based off fame and fortune. And you know, Paul had that, but he was still missing something in his life. Yeah, I mean, we see him going through Damascus, getting knocked off his horse by the light of God, being blind for three days until he realized, Lord, it is Jesus that we need. It is him that we need as the light in our life. In fact, you're talking about the guy that said, I count everything as a loss for the sake of Christ. And you know, it wasn't until he lost everything that he realized that. Ultimately, the light that Paul saw on that road to Damascus was Jesus. He was God in flesh that came to this earth and was the light. And he became darkness by dying on a cross so that we might receive his light. And he leaves us with this. He tells us that you are the light of the world. A city on a hilltop cannot be hidden. So as for us, we ourselves are not the light. But when we receive Christ in our hearts, we shine like stars in this dark world. So you truly want to shine that you got to give up this world and receive Christ in your heart. And that is when we truly begin to shine. You know, after a long day of just wandering around, it felt good to be back in the studio. When we walked in, we noticed that Lucas had his face into the Bible. And I couldn't help but be struck by that. It really was the most inspiring thing that I think I've seen all day, is seeing a guy dedicated to reading God's Word. There's no better place to find inspiration than God's Word. External things will leave us feeling empty every time. Only God can truly satisfy our hearts. As humans, we're all searching for something something to fill a hole, something to inspire us. We can search all we want, but we're not gonna find what we're looking for until we finally look towards Him.
We hope that you've enjoyed watching City Lights and hopefully you've got a taste of what it's like to be on the road. But you know what? The journey doesn't end here. We want to come to your city. So to find out how to do that, visit us at mission6.org. On there, you'll find pictures, videos, music, and everything you need to bring us to your town. So until next time, remember that you are the light to your city and together we make City Lights.